I'm going to explain how to uh, use APE to analyze some primers for PCR reactions. So here's the uh, exercise. Uh, a question uh, asks you to figure out ABCD for primers. So let's, uh, and this is done for the uh, MSH2 region, and we are going to use the PMSH2 uh, plasmid. So I'm going to first uh, start with the, uh, start a primer A, highlighting all the sequences, and then uh, copy. Then I go to APE. This is the PMSH2 plasmid, which contain the wild type MSH2 with the HA tag in the middle. Then I go edit, uh, find, paste the sequence into it. Then. Uh, find next. Now, if you look at the, the sequence I have with the sequence it defined, you will realize, uh, you can you see, that's the reverse complement sequences. So this start with AATT, so it's a TTAA. So that's the 5' prime end of my primer. It's on the right end. So, so I'm going to then go to a feature, new feature. So the sequence I found is on the reverse complement side. So I click that, now it's green, see. So this is primer A, so I'm going to label A, then OK. And then I'm going to look for, uh, so uh, let's first look at the map, graphic map. So now you see, so this is the direction of this primer A is going to anti-clockwise and apparently the plasmid is jaw uh, clockwise and the anti-clockwise means it's on a, 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 a different uh, strain. So now let's see primer B. So I'm going to highlight primer B, edit, copy, then go back to APE. So this time I go to edit, find, paste, this is primer B, find next. So oh, uh, you will see the primer B is in the sense direction, that's TGT, CCA, TGT, CCA. So this is correct, so I'm going to close this, and then go to feature, new feature. So this is primer B, and that's in the sense direction. Okay, if we go to the plasmid map again, so you will see, okay, so that's primer B, it goes to clockwise, and primer A is anti-clockwise. So if we use this set of primer, primer A or primer B, to do PCR, uh, the size of PCR product will be very big, because the entire plasmid is 9,325, and these two are, uh, very close to each other, so it goes to the and its PCR will go this direction, this circle, and very large circle. That's a pretty large PCR product. So now let's look at the, the primer C. Let's highlight everything again, copy, and then goes back to the APE, find, and paste everything to find it find next okay so this one is actually at the, the this region so let's see GATACA GATACA so this is also in a sense direction so then I go to feature new feature uh, this is a sense direction so this is primer C I'm going to put a C there okay now look at the, the graph graphic map again so C is also goes this direction. So, ah, so if if I use a pri uh, set of primer as A and C, and then the PCR product will be between thirty eight hundred to forty six hundred. That's about eight hundred base pairs. So, if for this set of primer A and C, the PCR product is about eight hundred. If I uh, look for the pair of primer between 
B and C, that actually won't even work because they all goes to the same direction. And it all goes to the same direction, that means there's no chain reaction, it's, it's linear, there's no exponential growth. So the pair of B and C actually will not work. Okay, let's analyze the last set of primer, primer D. Again, copy this, go back to APE, find, paste, and next. Okay, so this is in about 2000 region and CCATAT. -C -A so we now know this one is on the reverse complement uh, uh, strand. So close this and then go to a feature, new feature. And this is primer D, so make sure the reverse complement is clear. Once you click that, you see the color become green. So the reverse color is green. So click OK. So now we can uh, look at the graphic map again. So there, yeah, we have a primer D goes also to the anti-clockwise. So if I have a set of primer between uh, C and D, what's the size PCR product? Is the PCR product will be the largest circle outside, and between C, uh, between C and D is about uh, eighteen hundred and nine thousand three hundred minus eighteen hundred. That's about uh, seven point five KB. So so the so. C and D is going to give about 7.5 KB. And A and D is a set of primer that will not work for exponential uh, growth. It's not a chain reaction because they all go to the same direction. Uh, but uh, what we know A and C and work. C, uh, uh, D and B is also going to work. Right? So B and D is going to uh, give gives uh, the product in this part right? and you can uh, try to estimate that size on your own okay